Have you ever walked into your house on a freezing winter's day? Maybe it was even raining outside and you were starving? Maybe you were out shopping or running errands and once you got home, all you could think about was something to eat and fast. Well today, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious, hot, and fast meal to satisfy your hunger for both warmth and for food. Grilled cheese sandwich and chicken soup. The supplies that you'll be needing today will be your chicken soup, garlic powder, a slice of sandwich cheese, two pieces of bread, and butter. The non-food items that you're going to be needing will be a can opener, a clean spit surface to prepare your grilled cheese sandwich on, a butter knife, a large plastic spoon, a spatula, a pot, a pan, a small plate, bowl, and a spoon. Before we get started, we should wash our hands. While washing your hands, you're going to want to make sure and use warm water and soap. It's recommended that you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds to remove all of the bacteria. A good way to remember 20 seconds would be to sing happy birthday to yourself about two times. While you're washing, make sure and lather the soap very well. Wash the backs of your hands the inside, in between your fingers, and also around your nails. That's where bacteria likes to gather the most. If you have longer nails, you're going to want to use a nail brush to remove all of the dirt under them. Once you're done washing, rinse thoroughly. and dry with a clean, dry towel. Okay, before we start preparing our food, it's good to preheat your pans. Your grilled cheese pan should be at about medium heat, and your pot for your soup should be about medium high. You'll take your can of soup, I've already opened mine, and just go ahead and pour it into your pot. Now make sure and read your directions to your soup. This one calls for an additional can of water. So you can just go ahead and get that from the faucet. Go ahead and add it, add it into the pot. And stir to mix the soup with the water. Now, to prepare our sandwich, go ahead and open your butter, and you're going to want to butter one side of each of the slices of bread. A tip is always make sure that your butter is soft so that when you're actually buttering your bread, it doesn't just tear the bread. When you're buttering your bread, you're going to want to make sure and butter it evenly so that when it cooks, you don't have any soggy areas. Nobody likes the soggy grilled cheese sandwich. Now, once you're done with that, you'll take your garlic, garlic powder and you're going to sprinkle lightly on each of the buttered sides of bread. Just for added flavor. Next, you'll open your sandwich, or your sandwich cheese. And you're going to assemble your, pan, your sandwich on your pan. Butter side down. Sandwich cheese. Next slice of bread. Butter side up. You're going to want to make sure and, continue, er, and stir your soup throughout the time to make sure that it warms evenly. While you're making your grilled cheese sandwich, you want to pay special attention that your heat isn't too high. You shouldn't smell anything burning. You want to make sure that your sandwich is in the center of the flame to make sure that it cooks evenly. Also, you're going to want to check your sandwich often to make sure that it turns a golden brown and that it doesn't burn. Good. Just like that. Sometimes you can even turn your heat a little bit higher so it can cook faster. Continue to stir your soup. And 
check this on the jar. Alright, that looks about golden brown. Mmm, delicious. Okay, next we can go ahead and start cleaning up. Throw away any garbage you have. Put your dirty dishes into the sink. And just move all of your utensils back to where they came from. If you want at this time, you can also be making yourself something warm to drink. Maybe some hot cocoa or some warm tea. Or even just a soda and a glass of water. Now. Check your sandwich. Oh, and that's perfect. Go ahead and place your sandwich onto your small plate. And you're going to want to turn everything off. That soup. 